Plasticity, the program. Learning. The first part of a protocol designed to enhance brain function would have to involve continual learning. It is my belief that this is one of the best ways to prevent age-related cognitive decline, to promote a good mood, and generally to enhance brain health. The problem is that many of us learn less and less as we age. After we leave that highly plastic childhood, we enter a stage where we are constantly learning through school and through social interactions. Following that, we learn to drive. We may go through higher education and will develop ourselves through our careers. But come a certain age, our learning begins to slow down. There's less for us to learn and less for us to discover. Many of us find ourselves falling into a rut, where our jobs involve repeating the same few actions, and our social interactions are limited to the same few friends and family. This is why you need to actively keep introducing new learning opportunities and keep reaching for things outside of your understanding. This can be done through your career, or it can be done as a hobby. Don't just focus on getting better at one hobby. Focus on expanding your repertoire of skill and knowledge. You'll not only become a polymath through force of will, but the continual learning will ensure it remains easy for you to pick up other new skills as a need arises. To encourage this, assign yourself a period of time every week to learn something new. This could be programming or learning a language, or it could be learning to dance or even challenging yourself to become ambidextrous. Better yet. Enroll into an online course. Apps and sites like Udemy make it easier than ever before. Movement. The most practical and effective way I can think of to do this is through your strength training. This is one of the big advantages of using functional type training and doing things like climbing, learning martial arts, developing new lifts. Our brain responds especially well to learning when it is physical, as that is what our brain plasticity was originally for. Challenge yourself with new movement patterns, and keep yourself nimble and agile both mentally and physically. The other method is through gaming. Yes, playing computer games. Every single new computer game involves learning new rules and developing new muscle memory for quickly utilizing the controls. Computer games are the best we have for experiencing entirely new stimuli on a regular basis until VR gets to the point it needs to. So add that to your protocol. Make sure you are working out. Make sure that this incorporates new and different moves, and make sure that you include cardio and weightlifting. Use your body, or you'll not only lose the muscle, but all that neural tissue that controls it. Use your muscle in new ways, and your CNS will get into adaptation mode. And play computer games. That's some pretty easy homework. Supplements. What are the best supplements for encouraging brain plasticity? There are a few that are of particular interest to me right now. And which make up my current plasticity stack. This is another category of nootropics that can actually be beneficial to enhancing your brain function, and that doesn't just focus on making you feel wired all the time. These are lion's mane. It has long been one of the most popular for increasing nerve growth factor, which in turn has been linked to increased plasticity. Magnesium threonate. Magnesium has been shown to increase plasticity. Magnesium threonate, in particular, appears to more successfully reach the brain, making it the best choice. Turmeric, turmeric has been shown to enhance plasticity. I read that you could try adding it to your coffee, but I tried that and it was awful. Caffeine, yep, good old caffeine can also increase plasticity. It does this by enhancing dopamine, which is correlated with increased BDFN, brain-derived neurotrophic factor. In plain English. Caffeine makes things seem more important and more interesting, which makes the brain more likely to absorb and retain new information. Lutein. Lutein was shown a while back to improve the function of mitochondria, leading to greater energy and potentially a boost in cognitive performance. Turns out, it's also potentially able to increase plasticity, particularly in the womb and during our development, but also later in life. There are plenty more, and TDCs has also been shown to be effective at increasing plasticity, transcranial direct current stimulation. But as we're looking at a practical solution to enhance our plasticity, let's focus on just these few. You can afford to add this little stack to your routine, and it should result in enhanced adaptability. Discovery, being in any novel environment, discovering something new, or even speaking to someone new. Can help to encourage more plasticity in the brain. Interestingly, this has also been shown to be a trigger for accessing flow states. In other words, 
When you're somewhere novel or encountering something new, your brain wakes up, which encourages a flood of dopamine, and thus BDFN. Traveling, talking to people with different points of view, and trying new things will help your brain to stay agile and youthful rather than becoming barnacled and set in its ways. An outward-looking brain is one that stays healthy, young, and plastic. So, follow this protocol and you will create a brain that is more plastic. From there, you can go on to learn much more complex subjects and even motor movements with relative ease. Conclusion So there you have it. A protocol for enhancing the very plasticity of your brain. Now, if you also combine this with the right kind of brain training, which is to say, focused on things that you want to get better at, exercising, playing computer games, learning, then you can expect to see greater returns than you would have enjoyed previously.